Chain mail is a little unusual for what I do with it. I love the drapey effect of it. Chain mail is metal that isn't stiff, metal that has a softness to it. And I've worked in sheet metal, I know how to work with sheet metal, but the mesh has a different quality that I really love. And it's what drew me in. You just can't get anything that lays like this metal does. I mean, fabric really doesn't do the same thing. And I don't work in fabric, I just happen to love metal. I went to graduate school and while I was studying, my professor said, I want you to learn some new techniques. So I signed up for a workshop to learn how to make chainmail. So when I was doing the workshop, creating the chainmail came fairly simply to me. And I like the simplicity of wrapping wire around a rod and then cutting the wire and then putting the pieces together with simple tools like pliers. For me, that just felt really immediate. And I just excelled in it somehow. I mean, it just, it just, uh, I was able to cut up two different types of metals, two different colors and create patterns in that first workshop, which the instructor was like, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> Chainmail is fun to work as a wearable item. It's something that for me was a challenge because I'm as trained as a jeweler. But when I started to drape it on the body and play around with that, I saw that I had something different that I could do. And artists always want to be challenged and always want to think outside of their box and be pushed. And it really did push me to try something new and do something different. It's also what gained recognition for me as an artist, I think, because I'm doing a non-traditional material into a wearable format. And an additional thing that's so cool is that the metal I use, the stainless steel, is all recyclable. So I actually cut sheets of um, chain mail, one ring at a time, and I'm left with two ring parts. All of those ring parts are scooped up and saved and recycled. And if there is any little scrap piece that I have left, those scrap pieces are turned into earrings or an accent on a wearable piece. So I never have any leftovers. I'm trying not to waste anything. So that's the sustainability about my work as well. A friend of mine who really supports sustainable fashion was saying, well, one of the things that your work does is treats fashion as an investment. And artwork is an investment. So if we think of my work as being here forever, because stainless is not going to be destroyed, the piece is an heirloom that can be passed down. It's also something that could be hung on a wall. And I've had a number of clients who have done that, or they've taken a piece that they've purchased and decided to, to display it in their home as artwork. And for me, that really touches my heart because that means they really get what I do. It's my expression, it's my artistic expression, it's what feeds my soul. So if I can give my art to others to do that, <laughs> I've really done my goal, really, that's it. <laughs>